Hey, what's up guys? We're back and we're going to be going over the modulation oscillator. Now this oscillator uh, does not have a filter output, which is weird, but not really because uh, it doesn't actually produce any sound by itself. Uh, what, it, what it is, is it's routed to any one of these oscillators and it's called modulation. So what does that mean? Well, there's four kinds of modulation. Uh, well, three that go to uh, our oscillator section um, and one that goes to our filter, which we'll get into. So ring modulation. So what ring modulation is, is it's really old. Uh, it was developed in the 1950s and it basically it takes, you know, the the modulator and the carrier, takes two inputs and then combines them and then makes interpolated sidebands. So what does that mean? Uh, it basically means it doubles it. So what this is right here, oh, damn it, get back down there. This modulation oscillator, we'll turn it on, is uh, our FM mode. So what does that mean? Well, FM uh, it's a sine wave. So this produces a sine wave and uh, can adjust, can affect anything here and here. And uh, what it is, the ratio of, say the ratio of the pitch tracking and all that fun stuff, it's always harmonic. You don't get uneven harmonics if you're within the right uh, pitch. So 0, 12, 24, or negative 12 and negative 24. Within the octave range, it's always uh, you know, harmonic, the, the modulation is always harmonic. So yeah, there's actually guys who explain it way better than me, uh, but we're going to be going through it right now. So the best way to understand the modulation aspect is to load up a sine wave. Let me get rid of my phone. Right, so we have a sine wave here. It's simple, simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a ring modulator. So think of a ring modulator as doubling the harmonics. So, right, so now, here, I'll just open that up. Right, so we have our sine wave, and I'm going to increase the ring modulation, the RM. Doubled, right? So that doesn't really do much to a sine wave, it just boosts the octave, but if you have, say, something... Something a little bit more interesting and has a lot of harmonics, it really adds to it and creates some really interesting things. It's traditionally used for bell tones and such. And that is our ring modulation. So I'm going to go back to our sign. Right, so we have our sign. So phase. Phase is basically the sound of the 80s. Um, it's traditional frequency modulation. So what it is, is it takes uh, the input, uh, the, the, the operator and the carrier, and combines them. So what you'll see you'll see sine waves kind of being injected into our sine wave. All right, maybe if I go down a bit lower. All right, we're seeing sine waves like injected into the sine wave. So what does that mean? Well, we can boost this up and we can create some really interesting harmonics. That is a little too loud. I apologize. Okay, so we have our sine wave and we have our modulation. And what's that? what that is doing when we have, you know, a really high pitched, then the root kind of note, is we have little tiny sine waves inside of a sine wave. Right? Little tiny sine waves. Super fun. Right? So, yeah, that's, a, it's, it's, that's frequency modulation, and that creates really interesting kind of bell tone harmonics. Um, if our pitch, okay, I'll go, back, I'll go back to 48. If our pitch is not uh, uh, harmonic, if it's uh, inharmonic, I, I forget the term, then we get something kind of crazy going on. So I'll go to like 47. Right, it's, it's, it's not in balance. So if I go like that, doesn't make any sense it's inharmonic it doesn't really sit in a key that well so this is used for say like uh, bell tones so what you would have is you'd have say we'll have something kind of intense here wait I'll go down down okay we'll have it like that we'll attach an envelope to it oh, I did it in reverse 
reverse. So I want it to start out with our decay. We'll bring down the level. Right. So what it's doing is the decay. I'll snap. I'll make the attack snap here. So you're getting like a wood blocky sound, right? Because uh, this is opening and then closing, and you got like basically <laughs> FM sounds, right? Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to positional modulation. This is basically an LFO of the position of uh, our wavetable here, right? Right. Okay, I gotta find a better one. Okay, that's a very, very obvious one. So what we're going to do is we're going to modulate the position of the wavetable. So right now it's at zero, so it's kind of harmonic, so I'll go to 12. But if I go to anything that's non-harmonic, you get noise. Because we're basically, the LFO is uh, modulating the wavetable position. All right, so we have something that is basically just to see. Uh, it's a very harsh sound, and it's in, in harmonic. We can even uh, modulate the position. So we can modulate the position that's modulating the modular or the. The whatever the the we can modulate the position that is in turn being modulated by the modulator or the modulating oscillator oscillator fuck <laughs> you get the idea you can get some really interesting sounds so that is it off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, square saw why not right so I want to go to a filter uh, I will go daft. So uh, frequency, our filter FM, we're just going to modulate the filter. So we're modulating the filter opening and closing. I have this on my Nord, and it sometimes sounds terrifying. Uh, but if it's inharmonic, which means it's not 12 or 24, it doesn't really sound that great. But if it is 12... get an interesting effect. Massive. Um, yeah, and that's basically the modulation uh, oscillator. It's basically a sine wave affecting other things, uh, be it uh, oscillator 1, 2, or 3, um, or the filter, and you can modulate each one. Each one acts independently, which is great. Uh, just remember, keep it to keep it harmonic and sounding nice, um, uh, keep it within the same pitch. That's the magic of FM, the, the, the ratios, they have it locked down. But if you go out... Could sound interesting, but could sound disastrous. Just remember. 1224. Alright, uh, hope you learned stuff. Uh, take care. We'll be back.